All right, so we're back and we're getting ready to talk about the Turbot. Now, this, this again, if you saw our first video, is just a quick introduction to what comes inside the case or inside the bag for the Turbot. So, what we have here is some thick wire. Okay, this looks like a coat hanger wire, but it's actually some heavy gauge uh, wiring, uh, copper wiring of some sort. Um, the atypical manual which is clearly illustrated with all the instructions on how to build it and what to do and what not to do. Uh, okay, and this other bag here. So this is just another Ziploc bag. And let's just briefly open it up and spread it out onto the table to see what we've got. So we have here two standard motors with a little gearbox of some sort. We have the circuit board or the uh, breadboard, however you want to call it, where we'll actually be doing some soldering. Uh, this will be a little fun. We've got some miscellaneous hardware, some screws to stand off. Uh, we have some resistors, capacitors, things like that in this little bag here. We have the uh, battery holders. So it looks like this is going to take uh, AAA batteries. So four AAA batteries. And we have another bag here which includes, which looks like some, looks like it includes a microcontroller, some kind of photo sensor, uh, a couple other things here and there. And that's about it. So as you can see, that's the entire kit. Uh, what we're going to be doing, again, like we talked about before, is that we're not going to actually videotape ourselves, uh, video ourselves building the kit. We'll take pictures step by step as we go through each phase. We might highlight a few things here and there on a video just to kind of stand out or let you know where we are. But that's about it. Uh, check back soon uh, for our additional footage and videos and content, and we'll be uh, showing off some of the things that we've been doing with the turbine. And uh, take care.